Timber. Um, my Twitter handle is at Timberwolf. Instead of E's, there are threes. I'm a computer engineer. I've been writing software since 1990. I'm also a network security consultant. And we're here to talk about CEH today. So we're going to give you the material you need to pass the test and also uh, kind of discuss the tools you're going to need to know. And then we'll follow on with some labs and then a question and answer review. What are we here to learn today? A broad understanding of machine weaknesses and lessons in how stuff gets overlooked. In other words, an engineer is setting up something, the typical kind of things they miss when they're setting them up. That's what we're referring to there. A little bit how attackers think, a little bit how you need to think, um, security industry terminology, current tools, and old tools to conduct some of these attacks. Knowing the older tools can reveal what to look for today, like how these things have progress, progressed, you need that understanding. So um, also for the test, a lot of the questions will come from old tools. So some of them, even though they're not relevant at all today, you still need to know them because the questions are on the test. And it helps to know, you'll hear people talking about things, some new terms that they bring up and things like that are related to these old tools. So it's like college, you know, you have a broad understanding, you kind of understand more. So a lot of the questions on the CEH come from specific timed events. So you might have had an event that happened in 2002, uh, like the Melissa virus, I think was in the 90s, uh, the late 90s. So, uh, you know, kind of things like that. And there's a lot of questions on the test about that. So some, sometimes you'll be able to derive the context out of the question like the time context, so you know how best to answer the question. So they'll have two correct answers. You need to get the one that's most correct. And then two of the questions or three of the questions or three of the answers, two of the answers may not be relevant at all. And we'll go over some of those during the uh, question answer. And that's part of how to understand the CEH test as well. So something else you need to know as far as background, if you're not a developer, you need to know the logical operators for security. I call them the LOAFs even though I made that acronym up, it's just things you need to know to understand these questions. It's very common that you'll see these questions. If you don't understand these operators, you won't, know how, you won't have a clue how to answer the question or really what they're asking. So the double equals is a comparison. Is this equal to this? The two vertical pipes is the or. It's either this or this, not both. The double ampersand is the and. This and this equals this or no. And then also, which brings us to the not, the bang symbol or the exclamation point. There's also the not equal, which is a bang and an equal sign, or the two greater than less than symbols, which is not equal. So then also for like SQL injection, um, any kind of language, you'll see questions on the test that may have comments in them. So it's not even code at all. It's easy to rule those out as a possible answer. The uh, double hyphen, the two forward slashes, the pound, are all comments in multiple languages. You're going to be expected to know networking. So you should have had Network Plus before this class or that equivalent knowledge. You're expected to know networking, network troubleshooting, things like gateway is not routing to the public IP address. How do you fix that? What do you look for? How do you test it? This class is a building block uh, for things you need to know in here. So you absolutely have to have it before you come in here. You can still pass the test. But when you get into the labs, or if you go in for an interview and they start poking around and asking questions, it's going to be obvious that you're seriously lacking. So I don't recommend it. Even though you can pass the test without this required training, um, when you get into IRL, the in real life components, you're not going to be successful. Okay, so also with respect to networking, um, if you know the networking, you're going to get a lot more out of this class and the things it kind of leads into. For example, exploit dev, you know, things like that, um, basic scripting, you're going to, all this is using networking. So you're going to need to understand it, you know, from beginning to end. Music